All right, Drew, let's check out some of your first runs, Stratton GS. I put you up here side by side against the uh, uh, race winner there, Roman. You had a solid day, good effort, great result, fifth place. Uh, we do need to uh, kind of narrow that gap, though. He did have you by, I think, close to four seconds of run. So there's some work to be done. And, uh, you know, let's check this out. Maybe we can uh, figure something out. We'll, uh, we'll send it first in regular motion down, uh, you know, in about 20 seconds or so, and then stop it and slow it down. So, when Roman drops out, it's about there, I think, and you're not too far behind him. Maybe a gate, hard to say, but let's bring this all back up. All right, so first off, let's start. Um, get you more synced here. There you are, both leaving. Um, you know, I think he just had a little more aggressive start, pushed a little harder, skated once more. You look a little, uh, Static right there. Um, coming into this first gate, really well, second gate. You now, what he did here was really just was patient, got himself to, up to rise line, which is that, you know, the imaginary line drawn up the hill. He's got his skis pointed out and away, intersecting. Skis pointing out and away from. <clears throat> from the panel, allowing him to bring turn shape and arcing back to the panel with direction done as he passes the gate and be tight to it right there. Actually, he brushed it. Um, you came in here, a little conservative on this second gate. Yes, it was icy. Kind of tossed him sideways here. Obviously, you can see you're in rise line. Skis going straight down the hill. That's because you tossed them sideways and skidding here and then really had to work hard to uh, engage him here on that ice. And you did a good job on the bottom half, that's for sure. Right? We're going to talk about this more, but, you know, we have, we've talked about it a lot. Every run, I tell you to move those hands forward past the panel. You got those little alligator arms, elbows by your torso, torso. We gotta be driving past the panel with our arms going forward. Um, you know, so what does he do here? Comes through and he really, through the transition, it's gonna be subtle. In fact, he actually jumped a little, which you don't need to do, but he went, he got forward. Hips are back here, made a strong move, so strong he jumped in the air, we don't need that, but. You see here, he has got his hips up over the boots. You come through here, hips are back, hips are back, still back. You're really starting that turn in the back seat. Hips are back there, right? We never got those hips forward. So we gotta be moving forward through the transition, getting our hips up over the boots can move forward and then inside the turn. We want to be trying to take it down the hill. See here, you're in that, you know, coming out of this turn, hips back, which makes sense, but not a real strong move kind of forward. Maybe you got it done by the gate there, but it's, it's slow. Can't see him there really. Come through. Makes a pretty good move right there. His hips are back and all of a sudden, you know, hips are 
over the boots and driving forward tight to the panel and he brushes it and see what his arms are doing out wide for balance beginning of the turn or i'm sorry the transition and then sweeps him forward past that gate you're kind of back there still looks to me like kind of in the back seat and her hands are by our sides Again, you see the hips are back there. Do they come forward? Maybe, maybe a little, but still looks to me like kind of back seat, just not driving to the front of the boot at the top of the turn. It's good looking turns, don't get me wrong. Well, except this one, because you came through here. And there was a little bit of a terrain there. You got light. Started that turn on the inside ski, didn't commit to the outside, and hung on. <clears throat> Again, it's the same kind of thing. His movement here, hands wide, drives him forward past the gate. And a nice move there, hips are back, but all of a sudden he is moving forward. And then down the hill. So we definitely want to move forward <clears throat> and then down the hill. Don't really know what happened here. I don't know if that was some terrain or what, but. Uh, that causes some time, for sure. That's the spot right here. I don't know. Didn't seem to bother him. He brought a nice direction. But in any event, um, like, like I said, some nice looking turns, a great result, fifth place. But, uh, you know, we got to look look for speed a little more, and that's going to be by really trying to move, you know, like a strong move in the transition. Um, you know, you want to when you finish that turn, have direction done. You want to transfer the weight to the new outside ski, move along that ski, and then move inside the turn. Meaning, we're going to have you know throwing your hip into the turn and moving down the hill, getting the feet off from underneath you, and then driving those hands forward as we pass that gate. All right, but let's let's work on all those things and it will get even faster.